Hi, my name is Heather and this is my SVG with me series. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a mandala silhouette SVG in vector queue that you can bring into Cricut Design Space. Here I am in vector queue and I'm just going to create a new drawing first. We're going to start with the brush tool. You can go over here to where it says tool brush and you can set the brush to whatever options you want. So I have mine on the pencil so it's all the same width and then I have my size on 10. So that's what it looks like. You can set the color if you go to appearance and just make sure you're on fill, not stroke. You want to be on fill and then you can set your colors. Like if you want to do black, you can click on black. We can collapse appearance. If we go to layers, we already have one layer there and that's what we'll be drawing on right now. So I'm going to collapse all these and now I can just start drawing. I'm going to do a sea turtle. I'm going to start by doing the shell. And since the sea turtle is a symmetrical animal from the top, how we're going to be drawing it, I'm going to draw just half of him and then I'll duplicate it for the other half. Remember, you can always edit it if you don't like it. So I'm going to grab my node select tool and I'm going to edit it here. Now that I have half of the turtle done, I'm just going to grab the select tool and select everything. And then I'm going to go to actions, duplicate, and then tool selection up here. Right here we have the mirror option, so we're going to mirror it horizontally, and then I'll just pull it over, and just get it to where it looks pretty good, and you can always fill in any gaps that might be there. I'm going to grab my brush tool again, and this gap doesn't really matter because it's going to be one whole silhouette, so we can actually just leave that gap, but we do need to fill this gap in. And we can add a little tail, too, if we want. And now he's all ready, so I'm going to grab my Select tool, select everything, and I'll go to Actions, Edit Paths, Outline Stroke. So this is just making it so that the lines are now shapes. So as you can see, they're shapes because they're outlined in blue. Now I'm going to combine them all into one shape, so I'll go up to Edit and Combine. And now these are all one shape. As you can see, they're not like overlapping pieces. It's all one shape. And now in order to fill it in and make it a silhouette, I'll go to Actions, Edit Paths, Break Apart. But you can still see some of these outlines and stuff because it's all a bunch of shapes. So we want to combine it into one shape. So again, we're going to click the Combine up here. And now we have one big silhouette. I do think his arms look a little weird, so I'm just going to edit those for a second. Now we have our silhouette, and we can just add our little embellishments that are going to end up being cut out of the silhouette. If you are making this to sell it, I think it actually might be a good idea to do like multiple ones that are different styles. What we can do is bring this up here, and then we will duplicate it, and we can duplicate it three times. And then we'll just separate those out. Just make it fit within your little box. And then even to make it look more professional, you can like grab the top two and then line them up. So click this so that their tops align. And then they'll be nice and lined up. And then you can click these two and make sure their right edges align. Grab these two and make their bottom edges align. And then grab these two and make their left edges align. So now we have four turtles to work with and we can go to our layers and we can, let me collapse these. We can go to this layer and lock it. And then we're gonna make a new layer and this is the one we're gonna draw our embellishments on. So if we grab our brush tool, of course, we don't want it to be black. We want it to be white. 
we will end up cutting it out, but just so we can see what it's gonna look like while we're drawing it. So I'm gonna click on the white right here and make sure you're on fill, and then make sure you're on this top layer so the red arrow is pointing to it. Now we can start drawing our little embellishments. If you wanna make it a little bit smaller, go up to brush and we can bring the size down a bit. So let's try six. I like that. Here's my first design, and now I'll go ahead and do a second one. Now I have all of my designs done. The next step is to grab everything. And this is only gonna grab all of the white stuff that we drew because the black turtles are locked. They're on a locked layer. So I'm grabbing all the white stuff. And then these are all strokes. So I'm gonna go to Actions, Edit Paths, Outline Stroke. And now they're all shapes. Now we're going to combine the white together. However, since our turtles are separate objects, let's make each white a separate object. So like this turtle's white, we're gonna grab only the white for that turtle and we're going to combine and then grab this turtle's white, combine, grab this turtle's white, combine, and this turtle, combine. So now we have four separate shapes so we're going to unlock the black layer. So we have both layers unlocked. And then for each turtle, we're gonna grab the black and the white and do subtract front. So as you can see now, this is just one shape. It's just the black and there's no white on it because it just subtracted the white out. So now we can grab this black and white and then we're gonna do subtract front and this one subtract front, and the last one, subtract front. Now we just have these four black turtles with the embellishments cut out, and then the top layer, which did have the white on it, it doesn't have anything on it now, so we can make sure it's selected, so it has the little red arrow, and press delete layer. So now we have these four guys all in one layer. Now we can just export it as an SVG. So we're just going to go to share, select SVG, open in, save to files, and we can name this Sea Turtles and click save. So now if we go to Cricut Design Space, we can create a new document and we're going to do upload, browse files, Let's find our sea turtle. And here's our four sea turtles. And then if we go to our layers, you can see that each one is on a separate layer. So each one's its own separate little thing. So if you click on this, you can ungroup it. And then each turtle can be moved around on his own. 
that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I hope it helped you to get a little more comfortable creating your SVGs. If you have any questions, as always, you can let me know in the comments or you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!